white man, the Constitution, the Bill of Rights. And we need to understand that these dictators that we're allowing to be created in our country are not going to be benevolent dictators. Look at this shooting of a hospital, for example. Now we have the Pentagon saying that they're going to pay families, but they still won't provide details of the hospital bombing. They won't say who was responsible, although they're assuming some financial responsibility. They insisted that they would pay money to the families. They would also work to make, quote unquote, appropriate payments, unquote, toward the repair of the hospital. Now, this is a hospital that, as we pointed out before, had treated in that area 20 to 25,000 patients. But, of course, it's being shut down now. People who are in this war zone are not going to be able to get any trauma therapy, but they're somehow going to make this all right by throwing money at it. The typical Washington Pentagon solution. They say this is something of an admission, as the Pentagon has previously expressed confidence that the whole thing was a quote-unquote mistake. This is from antiwar.com. They say, U.S. rules of engagement in Afghanistan would not have permitted a strike against a protected civilian facility like the hospital. So therefore, it couldn't have happened because we have laws against that. Of course, the American government would never break international laws just like they wouldn't break their own constitution or treaties that they made with the Indians. Look at this example. You think that that's bad? Maybe next time they could do it with drones that nobody could detect. You know, drones that would give them some kind of plausible deniability. Drones that would self-destruct and melt after they'd accomplished their mission. You know, like Mission Impossible, where they say, uh, after you've read the message, they, they blow the thing up. This is precisely what DARPA wants. They want drones that will vanish into thin air. And they even call it Project Icarus. You remember, you can see that uh, picture there, the statue. They even name it after the Greek mythology where you had the uh, guy who, who made wings out of wax and as he got too close to the sun, they melted and he fell to earth. That's precisely what they want to have happen. Now, this is an article from Popular Science. And of course, they always like to portray military technology in a very benign and beneficial way. So what they say is DARPA envisions lightweight, cheap and expendable single use drones that can carry supplies to those in need, you know, supplies that they need like bombs. That's exactly what this is, because understand that DARPA is about creating weapons. They hide behind this facade of saying that this is something that's going to be used for humanitarian purposes, but it's always about weapons. That's precisely what they're going to do. And as I point out, when the sun starts to come out or within four hours of their mission, they will disappear. And even popular science says it makes the drones as much vampire as robots. Now, when we come back, we're going to look at the tools that they use to accomplish this. And we can see this in both the races for House Speaker and for the presidential race. Stay with us. We'll be right back. liver can be full of fatty deposits, built up toxins, and even dangerous objects known as liver stones. We worked with the top developers in the field of detox to take tried and true herbs and other compounds known to safely cleanse the liver and fuse it with the latest research and technological development on concentrating these ingredients to give you the maximum effect. Liver Shield is the only liver support product on the market that uses a patented Spigerex blend of powerful organic herbs that support detoxification. And when you visit InfoWarsLife.com, See the instructional video on how to do a six-day liver detox. This isn't a game, and let me tell you, the results are dramatic. Liver Shield is totally organic and made of the safest high-quality herbs. But that said, you need to consult your physician before you do the full detox. Liver Shield can also be used daily by itself for overall upkeep of the liver. Secure your Liver Shield today exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com for the lowest price available. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Brain for is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably noticed I've been more crazed, more focused, less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of brain force. One of the worst things with most energy products is it's not sustainable, right? You're gonna crash and gonna feel really bad afterwards. This has a bunch of different antioxidants and compounds and polyphenols. Everybody's on these drugs to knock their brain out because the brain's so fried. 
We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the L-theanine inside of it, that is activated by the different compounds in the yerba mate that we put inside of it as well. This just increases the compounds you already have. This is what you're actually designed to run on. Exactly. It's kind of like a car I'll run on one form of junkie gas, but it runs really good on what it's designed for. You will find Brain Force, Survival Shield X2, and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. And it's that type of behavior that spurred me to do the research to develop a true nutraceutical formula that was designed to smooth out and help children focus. All of our children are hit with modern mind control. Television, music, fast food, GMOs, sugars, you name it. Young humans have not yet developed their nervous system and are being hammered daily by globalist concoctions. It's no wonder they can't focus and calm down and then are put on dangerous psychotropic drugs. Working with my team, we set out to find the best formula with the highest quality ingredients that children would actually like and take. We worked with the leading manufacturer in nutritional supplements that are safe for children to bring you the most affordable and powerful calming formula out there. Introducing Child Ease with herbs and calming extracts like chamomile and lemon balm and essential nutrients that taste great. Obtain your Child Ease today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's Child Ease exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockouts it. InfoWarsLife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA. So it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these, and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced. And it just synergistically puts everything in there. InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. Now, just as we were talking before we went to break about DARPA's Project Icarus, a project that would allow drones to vanish, to melt away, to disappear after they finish their mission, whether that's maybe something like an assassination that they don't want people to know about or maybe a hospital bombing that they don't want people to know about. We have Julian Assange, who has been under house arrest in London because he exposed war crimes and atrocities through videos that were leaked by Manning. Manning went to jail. They've been trying to put Julian Assange in jail since then. For three years, they have surrounded him in the Ecuadorian uh, embassy in London. They have spent over $15 million doing this, but now they have withdrawn police protection. This was something that many people believe was set up to punish him, a, uh, accusing him of sexual assault and rape of two women. Uh, it looked like a honey trap to a lot of people who were watching what was going on. But nevertheless, they have now removed these officers. They say, though, that they are committed to executing the arrest warrant and presenting Julian Assange before the court. They vowed to deploy a number of overt and covert tactics to arrest him. That's precisely what we can expect. We can expect for whistleblowers who expose the crimes of government to be the ones who are arrested. And we can expect those who commit the crimes to go free. John Bowne has this report on how criminals are running our justice system. In a private meeting, Attorney General Loretta Lynch told lawyers representing media organizations that the Justice Department will not send journalists to jail for doing their job, a commitment that previous Attorney General Eric Holder had made after the Obama administration charged more journalists and legitimate government whistleblowers with espionage than all other presidents combined since the passage of the 1917 Espionage Act. You know, having good men in positions of power and authority who are willing to fight for what's right, that's a rare thing. That's a powerful thing. It's something that shapes our future in ways we don't even understand. Whether it was targeting CIA whistleblower John Kirikow for exposing the agency's torture program, 
seizing Associate Press phone records, prosecuting Chelsea Manning or going after journalists James Risen and James Rosen, Holder undoubtedly oversaw the largest attack on the First Amendment in modern history. We have always been, and we, I believe, continue to be, in too many ways, essentially a nation of cowards. Holder who was found to be the least popular politician in the United States, according to a Hart Research poll, was arguably the most criminal government official within the Obama administration. Among his many crimes, a select few have remained at center stage. Well, Daryl Issa, the congressman, has told Eric Holder, admit you knew, admit you lied, because now they've got the emails, the witnesses that Holder was running, the ATF, the FBI, the DEA and four other agencies in not only ATF ordering gun shops to sell guns, but two ATF agents that were coming in and selling them to Mexican drug cartels. Now a top CBS News reporter says the White House screamed and swore at her over fast and furious and that they're actually panicking over the fact that this could bring down this mafia White House. Celica Still, who's in federal prison for selling a couple shotguns, he's a former DEA agent, retired school teacher. They set him up. Six years ago on my show, he told me that Sinaloa was allowed to ship drugs in the United States and that Los Zetas that was trained at Fort Benning, Georgia, Mexican commandos, were going to have a fake defection to the drug cartels, but really it was a covert secret war against other cartels not laundering their money through the proper Mexican and U.S. banks. That's how I knew two and a half years ago when Holder, the Attorney General, started demonizing the Second Amendment and saying we've got to restrict gun ownership because of the problems in Mexico. I knew from Selly and others that they were already, even before Obama got in office, shipping guns into Mexico and drugs back in. Here are some of the headlines. Operation Fast and Furious is just the tip of the iceberg. There's the head of the Sinaloa cartel, number two in command, but the head of the U.S. operation. And the feds have now come into court and said, it's true, he worked for us. National security has been declared. Uh, here it is from over a month ago. Documents fed allegedly allowed Sinaloa cartel to move cocaine to the U.S. for information. That's now since been confirmed uh, in federal court. The feds have declared national security. So the Sinaloa was hired to knock out competition. They were laundering their money through the proper banks. Uh, here's another one. Taxpayers paid for Fast and Furious plan to arm Sinaloa drug cartel. So again, it's not just guns directly shipped by ATF to Sinaloa. Sinaloa has been confirmed to be allowed. They're the main cartel along the Texas and Mexico border to bring in around half of the $500 billion a year in drug money. The rest of the story is this is like Iran-Contra with the Reagan administration shipping guns down to Central and South America to drug cartels to knock out their competition and then ship the cocaine into the U.S. Business has always stayed the same. Eric Holder, who has publicly stated his desire to brainwash the public to think negatively about gun ownership. And what we need to do is change the way in which people think about guns, especially young people. One thing that I think is clear with young people and with adults as well is that we just have to be repetitive about this. It's not enough to simply have a, a catchy ad on a Monday and then only do it every Monday. We need to do this every day of the week and just really brainwash people into thinking about guns in a vastly different way. Attorney General Lynch is following the modus operandi of her predecessor to a T. She has done absolutely nothing to investigate the executives at HSBC for laundering cartel drug money. In the words of former Senate investigator Jack Bloom, they took every imaginable form of illegal and illicit business. Despite the bank's involvement in the largest terrorism and drug money laundering case in U.S. history, Holder had refused to prosecute any of the HSBC executives. And according to Holder, the economy would have suffered if any of the bank's leaders faced punishment. Holder had also refused to prosecute any Wall Street CEOs for their role in the country's financial crisis. Holder's career will go down as possibly the most criminal ever executed by an attorney general of the United States. The fact that Loretta Lynch had to assure the American people that she would not arrest journalists when we already have a First Amendment granting that protection is a red flag. Criminals still run the United States Department of Justice. John Bound for Infowars.com. You know, it's not only whistleblowers that they come after, but of course, it's also journalists to expose things. 
And I saw an article this last weekend from Daily Mail. It was just a kind of a local interest story. It was two Florida teenagers who were killed in a high-speed car crash. But when I looked at the pictures and when I read the article, it was exactly the same Mercedes that Michael Hastings supposedly died in a fiery crash. But I want you to take a look at these pictures. We are told that this car was traveling at a very high rate of